Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer Channel episode. We start our weekly roundup at Kensington Palace on September the 17th, 2018, where the Duchess of Sussex is supporting a new charity cookbook, Together Our Community Cookbook, which celebrates the power of cooking to bring communities together. On September the 18th, Kensington Palace announced that the Duchess of Sussex will attend the opening of Oceania at the Royal Academy on Tuesday the 25th of September. The Duchess will view exhibits from regions including New Zealand, Fiji and the Kingdom of Tonga and Australia, which she and the Duke of Sussex will visit in October. On September the 18th, the Duke of Cambridge arrives at the University of Birmingham at the start of today's visit to Birmingham and Stourbridge. The Duke is attending the first National Skillforce UK Prince William Award graduation ceremony. The Skillforce scheme aims to help young people build their character, resilience and confidence. The Duke also attended Acorns Hospice, who provide specialist care for life-limited and life-threatened children and their families. <laughs> Prince William concluded his visit as he arrives at the Mary Stevens Park in Stourbridge to unveil a statue of Major Frank Foley, who saved the lives of over 10,000 Jews from persecution in Germany during the 1920s and 30s. On the 18th, it was announced that the Duke of Cambridge will visit Namibia, Tanzania and Kenya from Monday the 24th to Sunday the 30th of September. The private working trip is being made as United for Wildlife President and Tusk Organisation Patron ahead of the 2018 Illegal Wildlife Trade Conference in London. On September the 20th, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and Miss Doria Ragland are today celebrating the launch of Together Our Community Cookbook with the women of the Hub Community Kitchen. On September the 21st, the Duke of Rothsay visited the Alford Heritage Museum in Aberdeenshire and saw the results of recent restoration work, which has all been carried out by volunteers. On the 24th of September, the Duchess of Rothsay has attended the premiere performance of a new piece of music composed to mark the centenary of the end of World War I. Requiem, the Souls of the Righteous was performed on Saturday at St Mary's Cathedral in Scotland. The Countess of Wessex visited three Berkshire-based organisations to mark three special occasions. The Queen also sent a message of condolence to the President of the Philippines. The Princess Royal, patron of ICE Engineers Shaping the World Appeal, visited their headquarters in London to see the results of the appeal which includes a new public exhibition space and learning hub. Commemorating 100 years since the armistice, the Princess Royal, patron of Horse Trust, unveils a memorial, Soldier and Horse, to mark the contribution of the Trust and its horses during World War I. The Countess of Wessex visits Aspire Ride, a community charity based on the Isle of Wight that welcomes and supports over 1,000 people a week through its various groups and activities. The Countess of Wessex bestows good luck and all who sail in her on the new Victoria of White Ferry with a traditional champagne breaking ceremony. From rewarding volunteers to joining dementia friendly concerts, Princess Alexandra regularly supports Alzheimer's Association, the UK's leading dementia charity. Her Royal Highness has been the charity's patron since 1990. During a visit to Lau Urn Yacht Club, the Duke of York meets RAF personnel and veterans to learn more about the role the site played during World War II and the Battle of the Atlantic. The Queen also sent a message to the people of Vietnam following the death of President Tran Dai Quang. The palace also tweeted, as summer comes to an end, 
Here are three recent photos of Buckingham Palace, Windsor Castle and the Palace of Holyrood House. Which one is your favourite? It was also announced that a new ITV documentary was to be released called Queen of the World. This new documentary will be broadcast on Tuesday the 25th of September at 9.15pm. If you have enjoyed this video then please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and also hit that notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. So from me in Shropshire, goodbye.